understanding your PRISM 360 degree report and providing feedback. This video reviews the full PRISM 360 report. However, depending on the options that you have selected, your report content may vary. The full 360 report contains the candidate's full professional report with the addition of 360 outputs for behaviours, emotional intelligence, big five, mental toughness and observers comments. Competencies are also included if selected. For details of the candidate's professional report, sections 1 to 10, please refer to the Understanding Your PRISM re Report video. Please note sections 8, Emotional Intelligence, section 9, The Big Five, and section 10, Mental Toughness, all now include 360 observers averages shown in orange in the graphics. Section 11 contains the 360 degree feedback. The first page of this section introduces a 360 report and outlines the benefits of this process. The next page shows the normal PRISM map and shows the candidate's consistent line in blue, the observations from the manager in red and the observer groups. Our 360 feedback session contained two observer groups, colleagues and customer, shown in light brown and purple. This page provides a snapshot of how consistent the views of the candidate and observers are. So you can see for the initiating and supporting dimensions, the lines for all are very close together and would indicate that this is a behaviour that is consistently seen the same way by all. By contrast, innovating shows a large disparity in the views. In the feedback session, it is worth exploring with the candidate some of the reasons behind these different views. The next page shows the feedback scores in tabular form. The behaviour preference overview on the next few pages shows each dimension and the scores from the candidate, manager and the observer groups and the observer average. The innovating, a dimension in which we have already identified a disparity in views from the map, you can now clearly see this in further detail. Ask questions to identify why the candidate believes they score high and also what the other observer groups may be seeing that is different to the candidate's view. What can the candidate do more or less of to cap capitalise on this dimension in the context of the role? Follow this process through with all the dimensions clearly identifying consistency and disparity and pulling out potential changes. The next session of the report focuses on competencies. We entered one competency for our session, although of course it is likely you will have more. The competency description is shown along with the levels that we entered. You can see the target set by the manager is four. The numbers in the boxes indicate how many people have scored the candidate for this level. So one person has selected level two, three people level three, and three people level four. These set selections include the candidate. However, the average is calculated just from the observers. This information is shown in graphic form on the next page. Observers' comments. So far in the feedback process, we have dealt with quantitative data. The observers' comments now provide qualitative data and can be the most emotive of the report. It is important to ensure the candidate understands that these are solely the views and perceptions of the observers and not necessarily factual. However, the views are valid within this context and should not be dismissed or ignored. Ask the candidate to firstly read through the first section. What are Vicky's greatest strengths? Ask the candidate to note where they agree with the comment and also the comments they may disagree with and the ones that have the most impact. Using these pointers, review with the candidate to achieve a good understanding of agreed areas of strength and potential areas for change. Repeat this process with the next section, what are the most important things Vicky could improve to increase her effectiveness? During this conversation, try to make connections to the quantitative data so, for example, Vicky needs to capitalise on her enthusiasm and her vibrant and positive approach to life correlate to initiating. Bring this into the conversation, highlighting the positive impact of this dimension, but also considering the overdone strengths. You have now reviewed the whole report. To conclude, ask the candidate to consider all the areas discussed and pull out three or four key areas they want to work on. Focusing on these key areas, agree and commit to tangible actions. 
challenge the candidate to ensure they are clear on areas they can implement themselves and where they may need help. Identify obstacles to success, what support may be needed and where they will get this support from. Conclude to SMART objectives, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time bound and commit to reviewing and perhaps recompleting the 360 at a given date. 